quick defeat. Kyle Larson's car with the front end severely torn off. Oh, there, oh, there we go. go, there we go. There was no oh, way. Oh, oh he's a push up and over. Push behind push behind push you push 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 Bobby Labonte's in it, Strimmy's in it, Jeff Gordon down to the ground. Nothing else coming from behind you. And Kurt Busch went over and over. Got, and running out of time. I mean, he's, you know, desperate. And, and you see the 36 move down just a little bit. And Yaley and, uh, and Stenhouse thought he could squeeze by on the, uh, next to the wall, and he just couldn't make it. And this kid's ugly. Watch this thing. Right on top of Ryan Newman. Hadn't Ryan Newman had cars on top of him before here? I think uh, the 2009 race. I think you're right. Brad Keselowski and Carl Edwards coming to the checkered flag. Boyers 15 comes up, clogs the track. Both Labonte brothers involved. That's Brad Keselowski going around. This could be oh, up. Back up across the track. Oh, big damage. Oh, okay. oh, A number of cars collected. Dave Blaney, Greg Biffle. Now, whenever and you see a car coming back fire. across a racetrack like that, you know it's going to be a bad deal. And Travis Quaffle nowhere to go. Wow. Think about how great Biffle has been in recent weeks and simply nothing he could do about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. He got tagged by uh, Kurt Busch, went down on the apron. When he came back up on the racetrack, he got in the left rear of Brad. Nothing Brad could do, like you said. But at that point, Brad's for the ride goes along for the ride and tore up a lot of race cars right there. Watch the 78 car goes down on the apron, then he comes sliding back up and he just turns the two car. And it, it's, it, it is a very harsh transition. We saw it during some of the qualifying laps. A harsh transition from um, from the flat up to the race, back up onto the race. Crash on the track. Adam. Just Jimmy talking Hamill about the yeah, airborne. Yeah. AJ Allmendinger, Jeff Gordon, David Rudiman, Matt Kenseth all involved. Get the 11. Looks like these guys get, you know, he just dove down. Wow. And then corrected, maybe. I, yeah, that's really a strange, strange act. Man, Matt did a good job not in that car, but then he got clobbered. See Blaney in that. Blaney had had a good run. Those guys had run in the top 10 or 15 a lot tonight. He's driving really defensively right now. He's trying to keep Jeff Gordon behind him, and Jeff is working him over. Jeff's going to move him up out of the group and get by him. Well, Bush is around. Can he save it this time? Oh, there you go. He does. He saves it. But there's a... Jeff, 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 Jeff Gordon's upside. upside down. Jeff Gordon's upside down. And Kurt Bush's car is destroyed. Oh, my gosh. That, too, he's in that backup car. You see Jeff down there, he just gets down on his left corner, and we've seen that time and time and time again. You got to stay off the left side. What do we do about that, though, man? How do we fix it? The drivers just have to make the decision that they've got to lay off that left side. Look at this long slide for Gordon, and that's Kurt Busch tangled up with him and Jimmy Johnson, and that car still hasn't uh, lost much of its momentum as it goes side over side and comes to rest. Michael made its roof. a really good point, though, Mike. These cars are so much bigger than the cars were.